Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In the name of Allah, we would like to extend our deepest gratitude to be given patience, strength, determination, and courage in implementing this task. Furthermore, any attempt at any level cannot be satisfactorily completed without our parents' enthusiasm, encouragement, love, and valuable assistance to us. With the collaborative efforts of many people, our utmost thanks goes to our teachers, Puan Noriza binti Adunan, Puan Nur Izian binti Razali, Puan Sabaria binti Luman, as well as our principal Tuan Haji Kamali bin Murid, for imparting us with their wealth of knowledge, valuable guidance, and experience. More significantly, the members in this team that give nothing but the best to make this project a success. The free insights, cooperation, and stimulating comments that brought us together through thick and thin in order to make great progress. Astro as the glow of a middle corn flower, as surely as glory of a great green wood, as dark as the bark of a midnight fox, as clear as the dear little robin's tip tip, as true as me and you, and we all never knew, our world will fall away if we let it. By Kate Williams, if we let it. So how will we make the earth a safer place? The keyword we are thinking of is upcycle, which is to reuse discarded materials in such a way as to create a product of high quality or value than the original. By recycling one ton of paper each year, we can save up to 7,000 gallons of water, 4,200 kilowatt per hour of energy, and 17 trees. We can upcycle the papers into baskets, bags, and paper mache. So we should always start small to make a difference. To understand and appreciate the importance of the use of composite materials and their properties in daily life, we decided to practice upcycling using paper mache, which is a type of composite material through PBL. Dear Club, Inspired by the molecular structure of molecule dichlorocyclobutane, we decided to make a laptop stand to be used in daily life. We reused the papers and rolled it to make hollow paper rods to act as bonds. The paper clay was made using cornstarch, oil, baking soda, PVA glue, and ripped newspapers by blending all of them together. Ice cream sticks, paper clay, and ripped newspapers were structured and shaped in order to make chlorine atoms. As for the carbon and hydrogen atoms, the paper clay is shaped into spheres and strengthened using newspaper, water, and PVA glue. After finishing all individual elements, the structure was then constructed. What is composite material? It is a combination of two or more non-homogeneous substances which are stronger than those materials by themselves. Metric substances will combine with certain substances to produce composite material. Both of the substances have dissimilar properties. One of the examples of composite material includes ceramic metric composite, CMC for short. It is a special type of composite materials which consists of at least two parts, reinforcement, the refractory fibers and metric substance which is the ceramic. CMC can be found in ceramic hot water filters, turbine blades, and a lot more. Both CMC and conventional ceramic are hard, stable at high temperature, and have high corrosion resistance. But CMC is very lightweight, and conventional ceramic is quite heavy. Conventional ceramic has lower thermal expansion, mechanical strength, and structure toughness. Paper mache. Paper mache is a composite material consisting of metric substance, which is the PVA glue, to act as an adhesive, and strengthening substance, which is the paper that are bound together to create a stronger material. Due to its non-toxic nature, paper mache is a craft that is suitable for all age groups and skills level. 
It is also eco-friendly as they are easily composed in the environment. Laptop stand is one example we could make using composite material. People tend to hunch over when working on a laptop, which can lead to muscle strain and pain in the upper back, shoulder, hands, neck, wrists, and arms. That is the reason we should have a laptop stand, to help position the angle of the laptop so it can reduce screen glare that leads to eye strain and headaches. Since COVID-19 pandemic started, everything is online. Every student and workers have to stay at home working online. It's a must to have a laptop stand nowadays since we can make it by using a waste material such as recycled paper, newspaper and reuse stick. Not only it evades us to have bad posture, it is also prevents overheating and improves laptop performance. Overall, we use 50% of newspapers, 41.6% of PVA glue, 5.8% of papers, 1.4% of ice cream stick, wire, cornstarch, oil and baking soda, and 1.2% of circuit. All of this cost us around 20 ringgit. The conclusion that brings us to the end of the presentation. I'd like to summarize by saying that composite materials have tons of uses in our sophisticated lives nowadays. A quick recap, composite materials are widely used in the development and advancement of technologies such as in the construction of buildings and also used in various industries around the world. Throughout the process of completing this project, four of us have learned countless sense of responsibility. In addition to what has been said, we also knew that patience and dedication are the most important thing to ensure our project was completed perfectly. Last but not least, we have learned that the importance of technological knowledge is very useful in the success of this project, especially during this pandemic. The sky turns grey against a fiery display Of red and golden hues like the day I felt for you So what will you do when the sun begins to fall? I'm waiting here for you, won't you answer my call? Don't you wanna get cozy with me? We'll dive into a breath. Thank you. <laughs>